Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Killstar haul. This time I've got two items. It's the spooky forget sleep skater skirt and the black sea skater dress. So if you like Killstar hauls then please consider subscribing to my channel and I will get into the video now. So this is, it might be the first time I've had to return things no, I think it's the first time I've had to do an exchange from Killstar. I've had to return things in the past, but it's just been for like a straight refund rather than an exchange. Um, so I placed this order on the 2nd of May because they had a huge spring clean offer, which was 25% off on clearance. <laughs> So the pieces in the clearance are already reduced and then they had a code for 25% off on top of all of that. So there are a few pieces in the clearance section that I was after. So I took a look and I thought like it was such a good deal. So I did place an order, which is why I'm making this video. Um, the first one is the one that I did end up keeping and it has been like sat by the edge of my bed waiting for me to wear it because I've had to wait kind of nearly a month to do this video because of the exchange so this is the spooky forget sleep skater skirt and as you can see it is like a fairly basic skater skirt with this repetitive ghost print on it now i have this print in quite a few things i had it in the socks but I ended up selling them because they were like the longer version. I have like the normal version of the socks. I have the purse, which I really, really love. And I also have the sweatshirt in this print. And when I saw this print, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And the ghosts are so like cute, but spooky. And I'd always seen this skirt, but the model wearing it, it looked quite long and I wasn't sure whether it was a different style, but yeah. I decided to pick it out anyway and it did cost £11.24. Everything as always came in these plastic bags and the Killstar packaging. It was sent by Tract 48 Hours. I bought this in a size small and it does have the like super old tags with the death head moth as the label. And this fits super, super well. I expected it to be, as I said, longer, but it is just like a normal skater skirt and it is a really, really nice length. The print of it isn't, I mean, it's a smooth print, but it does feel, it's not tacky or like sticky or anything like that, but there is something a bit strange about the print. But that's kind of what it looks like. I think mainly when I did get it out of the packaging, it did have bits of like tissue paper between each fold, but still like some of the print when it touched another part of the print, it was kind of sticking together, which does concern me a bit when I have to put it in the wash. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Like for example, this bit is quite a small thing, but if you see here, like some of the print has come off of it. I'll see if I can find it on a bigger section. As I said, like it didn't really take any of the print off, but it did kind of worry me when I had to like peel it away from the other part of the print. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, I guess time will tell, but I do really, really like this skirt and I think for like basically £10, it is a really nice item and it definitely stands out. Um, I feel like this would look nice with like a plain black top and maybe like loads of ghost necklaces. But yeah, I am fairly pleased with this. I think if I would have paid the original price, I'd be a bit like, ah, uh, because I'm not sure the print is like of the highest quality. It's not like bumpy or anything, but... I am worried about it sticking together so that is just something to look out for if you are looking to purchase this skirt I believe it's still in the sale but yeah that is the first item
And now on to the second or last item now, which is the one that had all the issues. So I'm not into the whole mermaidy thing. I never really have been, but when they released the Black Sea dress, I just always loved the look of it and I thought it looked really pretty. So when they had the 25% off, it came to 22 pound 49 which i feel like is a good price for a killstar dress i think it is like a really nice pretty dress i think it's because of this material that really like drew me to it it's got kind of this scaly effect so basically i ordered this in a size small which is my usual size i have quite a few dresses from killstar now all in a size small including like this one the more like swishy victorian one with the sleeves literally all my dresses are a size small in killstar and i remember when i wanted the pentagram dress it was in the clearance section and they ran out of a size small and i thought well maybe i could fit the extra small and i got that and i couldn't move my arms in it it was so tight and so uncomfortable so i did end up sending that one back for a refund because they didn't have my size um i did manage to find that later on depop which i was happy about but yeah, so I always assumed that the extra small would be way too tight and that's why I always order things in a size small. Also on the Killstar website it says that a size small is a UK 8. I'm usually an 8 to 10 in most companies even though they're, a lot of companies are redoing their size charts. But generally I'm an 8 to 10 and an extra small is a 6 and I'm definitely not a 6 even though Primark says I am. Um, so yeah i did order this in a size small and i was so excited to get it and when i tried it on there was so much extra material like around the front but kind of at the sides that kind of just like stuck out and i found this like really strange and i did post about it in the killstar group on facebook which i will leave a link down below to because it is a good group to be a part of and people seemed to be as shocked as i was that there was so much difference between this dress and like a normal size small i did also post a photo of an original like the wednesday adams dress from killstar in a size small compared to this so i laid this like underneath it and there was this much extra material on this dress in the small compared to the other one and i just think for like an online company they should have the measurements i believe they did at some point but i'm not sure if they took them down i mean they must have but I do think that they should have better size charts because a size 8 doesn't really mean anything, I do think, nowadays. I do think that that does need some improvements, especially if you are asking, like, customers to pay the return shipping. It's like you really are just kind of guessing your sizing. So I did pay £3 to return the dress in the size small to swap it for an extra small. Um, and this, I've just literally tried it on now because I just got it today. And it fits really, really nicely, but I don't understand how I can be an extra small in this dress. Whereas if I bought this dress in an extra small, I don't think it would be as comfortable because this like fits me perfectly. So I'm really, really confused with what's going on with the sizing. Um, I know a lot of you have had this problem as well. It's not just me, obviously. But yeah, I did send that one back and I believe it was about over a week maybe a week and a half um, and I have just got this one sent out to me. I ordered this on the 2nd of May, it's now the 24th of May so about 22 days later I now have my normal one which I say isn't too bad to be honest. I know some people have waited like up to three weeks to get an exchange um, again the customer service so that was kind of what happened with that they did send it out in like a mini killstar bag which i thought was adorable and i noticed that this time they sent the envelope and i haven't had this envelope for a while and they also sent me one of these print things which i thought was interesting because i haven't had these in my order for quite some time now as i said this is the black sea skater dress it says in brackets mermaid okay <laughs> and it is kind of a style that i wouldn't usually go for it does have these kind of thick straps around the top um these aren't adjustable but it was never the straps that were the problem in my case anyway um and then it does go down into this v-neck style which is why I say 
it's not something I'd usually go for but I felt like it didn't look too extreme on the model um, but it does look quite flattering when you put it on and the material it is a velvet but it's not a very soft velvet probably due to the kind of shiny print that's been put on top of it I'm not sure what material that is but it does stop the velvet from being like quite soft compared to the Ashbury velvet dress that I literally just hauled a second ago <laughs> it's nowhere near as soft like this is definitely more of like a rough feeling dress but again that's mainly due to the print that's on top of it now the problem I had was when you lie it down flat I know it has to go round you and everything but when you do this like you match up the straps you can see that there's quite a lot of material here that bulks out and kind of creates some kind of weird point thing and when I got it out of the package like the other size and I laid it flat I was like this looks huge <laughs> because this material out the side is the stuff that's like making it be so much bigger than it should and it doesn't stick out as much now that I've got the correct size even though it's not the correct size <laughs> Yeah, I'd say this is what has caused the sizing issue on this dress. The length was fine, but it's this weird excess material. And I could literally, like, pull it out to, like, here, like, away from here. And it was just crazy. So, yeah, I'd say that is definitely the problem with this. I'd maybe consider sizing down if you think you might have the same problem as me but yeah that's just something to consider it does have a stitched band around here that you can see which is like a really nice space for a belt and then it does go down into this really nice skater style dress with the print uh the back of it is fairly simple it just has this bit of material and then again it just goes down into the skater dress the tag of it is the moon with the skeleton hands and again the tag matches it or uh, the label matches it sorry yeah so overall I am really really happy with this dress I think it's a nice quality and everything especially for the price I paid for it I don't think at the end of the day it is kind of a velvet dress there's not much detail on it it's not like there's lace there's no like ribbon or studs or any kind of detailing it is just like a plain skater dress with a print on it so I feel for £22 I feel like that's good for Killstar but I wouldn't have paid full price for that at all I don't think it does also have stretch in it by the way but not as much as the other velvet dresses again probably due to this print <laughs> everything the total came to like 33 pounds and then i had to pay the shipping which was 3.95 i do think kill stars point system is fairly good as well um it's quite easy to build up five pounds or like 10 percent or something so yeah i would definitely make sure you have an account for that but yeah so that is everything in this smaller kill star haul with the clearance items i will leave links down to these items below if they're still like available because i know in the past i've hauled something and then i've gone to check it and like put the link and it's not been there so i'll leave it if it's still there if you had any problems with this dress or like you own this dress leave a comment down below as to what you thought of the sizing did i just get like an odd one or is that the case for like that dress in particular leave a like if you enjoyed this video as i said at the beginning consider subscribing if you like killstar hauls and stuff and i will see you in my next video bye